Two students secretly mixed different elements and placed them in an alcohol burner. A flame suddenly erupted and the two students poured the fuel directly into the pool. Fortunately they escaped unharmed, however this also showed that their rocket fuel had been successfully made. They arrived at the mine to conduct a launch test. Unexpectedly the rocket went off course mid-flight and almost hit a bystander. Luckily the man did not blame them. Instead he pointed out the rocket's problems. He said that regular steel could not handle sustained high temperatures. So high temperature steel was needed. However, this type of steel was very rare and costly. Homer and his three friends simply could not afford it. So they tried a different way. So they arrived at a 12 mile stretch of old railroad tracks and started taking them apart piece by piece just as they were excited about the chance to make money a train whistle blew in the distance uh. Fortunately it was a false alarm. They used the money from the tracks to buy a high temperature steel bar. With the man's help, they finished the bar's later work and kept testing. But each time the test either blew up right away or would not lift off. While taking apart, laying over 30 rails, the top student thought the fuel might not be pure. After launch the high heat inside the rocket would make it swell and explode so they made the booster fuel with 100 pure alcohol. When the group reached the mine for the launch, they found it full of people. It turned out they were co-workers. His brother had asked to come watch. Homer was not mad. He handled the pressure and started the ignition. The rocket flew into the sky. The people who came to watch cheered for their success. Even the teacher praised them a lot. 